Hi and welcome to another Jet Tricks video. Here we're going to show you how to clean the heads and purge the heads. This is an essential part of maintenance. This is something that you will have to do every time you go to print. Uh, if you make any adjustments on the printer and you're not sure if the print quality will be successful, a purge and a clean is always worthwhile. It's a particularly inexpensive process to complete. It takes normally less than two minutes to achieve and it's going to end up giving you a successful print job which is really the aim of the game. This model is a KX7 but like most of our printers the access to the purge tray bottom right hand corner at the front of the head is a little catch that you release the purge tray then pushes all the way to the back it does have a sensor to ensure that it's recognized when it is open and closed and this will give you access to the underside of the printer where the heads will be easy to clean. But that's where we're going to go next. This is the underside of the print head. Now here we can see each individual head which I'll point to but not touch very carefully. This has got a double row of heads. Uh, you may have a printer with a single row but the principle is exactly the same when it comes to cleaning. Ensure you use our proper dedicated cleaning wipes when performing this procedure. You will use two wipes in one, at one time when you go to clean. We'll now show you how to fold them correctly so you get the most use out of them when cleaning. So here we have two of our dedicated cleaning wipes. We'll put one on top of the other. This might seem obvious but it's a good way to get the most use out of the wipe. We fold it over once fold it over twice. So we have a nice dedicated smooth flat strip so when you're cleaning the heads it's not got any ridges or any bumps that are going to cause any problems. Then you bend it over one finger, I happen to be right handed, with the loose end as so and it just means that when you wipe one colour you can pull it through, wipe another colour, pull it through, wipe another colour. So you can keep the process going, you can then flop it over and use the inside for exactly the same process, especially if you have white uh, as in four channels of white or primer or varnish you're going to need both sides of the cloth. So once you've purged all colours through the GUI you can then proceed to wiping the heads clean. So we take the cloth as per before and we start normally left to right pulling through this is a twin head, so you have to do two of each one. You can apply a reasonable pressure when you do this. You don't have to push very, very hard, but just reasonable pressure to ensure that you wipe off any excess ink and any dirt that may be on the underside of the head. You continue this across all heads to ensure that they're ink free. Once you're complete, you pull the tray back closed lock it off in the corner and then do your nozzle check to confirm that all is okay. So once you've completed a nozzle check and confirming that everything's okay then you're ready to print. If it's not, if it, there are breaks in the nozzle check you can simply go through the process again. Purge, wipe, nozzle check, confirm. Hopefully this won't take uh, many attempts to get correct, it correct and then you can carry on printing